Hey everyone, this is Bales. I'm at Fantasy Labs, and I wanted to show you how to use our multi lineup tool, um, which we've updated for this season and have a lot of new features. So, up here in the right hand side where the tabs are, you can see build lineups um, where you can optimize a lineup or, or just build a traditional single lineup. But the button at the bottom allows you to build multiple lineups. So, if you click that, um, you will see uh, a bunch of filters and options here. Um, you can play with those if you'd like. Um, I'm actually going to um, create a new template that doesn't have anything selected. So this uh, is has just as default um, options. It allows every position in the flex. You can change that. Uh, max players on a team. Um, no exposure restrictions. But if you wanted um, a player in um, no more than 50% of your lineups, you could do that. Min salary cap, number of lineups, you can build up to 500 very quickly. Um, we'll do 10. Uh, and then at the bottom here, I'm just forcing stacks in if you'd like, um, and a bunch of different filters. So if you want to uh, only consider players with at least X projected points so that you're not really getting um, bottom dwelling players who are just cheap into your lineups you can do that so if you hit generate lineups here in the right we'll get 10 lineups and, and this is based off of um, your particular model so if you change the model the types of lineups and the exposure that you get will change so this is going to give us 10 lineups and you're going to have ex high exposure to guys that rate high in your model um, so you can see the um, the lineups here um, you can also see uh, on the right hand side the um, overall player exposure so you have Fitzgerald in 6 of 10 Stafford in 4 of 10 um, if you want to change that let's say you want Fitzgerald in 100% and you want Devontae Freeman in 50% you can add that click save and then regenerate the lineups and it'll give you 10 new lineups um, and it'll get as close to those percentages uh, as possible so um, it'll basically force those guys into around that many lineups. So here are the 10 new lineups you can see, and it has Fitzgerald in um, all of them and Freeman in the 50%. If you click out of here, you'll also be able to see those exposure percentages within the model itself. So if we go to wide receiver, you can see Fitzgerald where we typed in 100, and Freeman will be at 50 50 percent um, you can click out of that if you no longer want it you can also as you're going through your model just set the exposure right there so you're just looking at your model before you even go to uh, multiple lineups so you want Tavon Austin in 50 percent you can do that right there uh, click generate multiple lineups do that and we will have Tavon Austin somewhere around 50% and Fitzgerald still at 100 so you can see that right there if you would like to um, limit your uh, player pool there's different things that you can do so like I said the projected points so if we want to consider players only above say 10 projected points roughly we can regenerate the lineups um, probably didn't have too many below that before it actually might not um, work in that instance because of uh, defenses but we can regenerate um, but there's different filters here to, that allow you to uh, do that so the player pool will go down. Um, another way to get the player pool down that I like is to lock in your um, top exposures, the guys you want in every single lineup. So I'm just going to click out of these. And let's say that you want, uh, you like three guys in a given week, and you know you want them all over the place. Russell Wilson, and we'll say... Um, David Johnson in this particular week and um, and Ruben Randall so we lock those guys in go to generate multiple line lineups they'll be forced into a hundred percent of lineups no matter what so we're bidding those 10 but with those guys locked in and you can see the total player exposure went down to 32 percent we can do that even more um, lock in say Larry Fitzgerald and um, and uh, Antonio Gates and we're gonna see the player pool drop even more it's just a way to naturally um, diversify more or less based on based on your goals so um, when you're finished and have lineups that you like 
Um, or actually, you can go through all of these uh, lineups here and um, select all of them or select none and then choose the ones you like. So you can click anything that you like and when you are all set, hit save lineups and the, that'll go to your My Lineups page where you will um, be able to see overall player exposure um, in a way that's more digestible than right here. Uh, your flex usage, all of the lineups where you can remove them, um, get notifications if guys are scratched or something happens, um, and then ultimately uh, export those right to DraftKings or FanDuel.